वेलकम बैक यू वाचिंग फेस्टिव सेंटीमीटर एंड विद अस राइट नाउ इज निरेश गुप्ता डायरेक्टर विजय सेल्स कुमार राजगोपाल सीईओ रिटेलर्स एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड विंकेश गुलाटी चेयरमैन रिसर्च एंड एकेडमी एट फेडरेशन ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल डीलर्स निलेश गुप्ता कमिंग बैक टू यू व्हेन इट कम्स टू फेस्टिवल स्कीम्स आर देयर सम डिस्काउंट्स दैट विल बी देयर इन द मार्केट सम गुड फेस्टिव स्कीम्स दैट कस्टमर्स कैन रियली वॉच आउट फॉर दिस फेस्टिव सीजन So, Parikshit, uh, ours is an industry where you have discounts throughout the year, but definitely during Diwali, this is one major year where all major month where the entire uh, industry comes down and gives more and more discounts and more and more offers, and that's precisely why we always say in consumer durable we don't have a 12 month uh, calendar, but it's a 13 month cal calendar where the Diwali month constitutes sale of nearly two months. The primary reason being is uh, this is a year where uh, this is a month. Uh, where people will get uh, consumers will get offers showered on them so when you are buying a television especially a last screen you may either get a mobile phone a high end mobile phone if you are buying a oled televisions uh, qleds or you may get uh, sound bars sometimes you are getting sound bars in some models you are getting sound bars at a 50% price in some cases uh, cashback offers are there cashback in fact cashback offers are there across plus the exchange bonuses are there if you are exchanging a mobile phones not only you get the value of your old phone but you also get a exchange bonus from the brand in addition to this uh, there's a lot of thrust on emis so this is the month where uh, consumers uh, get emis which is zero down payment and extending up to 24 months and that's precisely what i said is before also is not making the inflationary trend affect us number one number two that's another reason why we are seeing a lot of premium and high end products being sold because people are upgrading one more thing which you have to seen is post covid people have realized the importance of consumer durables in their house so everybody is now interested to buy a bigger size refrigerator or a larger screen television and this all is the right time to buy in diwali because i think the offers which you get in this month you will never get it throughout the year and that's what brings the consumers to the stores right uh, kumar rajagopalan which sectors do you feel will offer the best schemes the best discounts to customers this season where all can they get the best bargain i think the uh, the idea is that uh, most of the consumers are getting discounts through the year we all know that in the, the modern day digital days uh, e-commerce days i think discounts are taken for granted many of the items are available on discounts through the year like what nilesh gupta said what gets interesting during diwali is that uh, many of the brands and many of the products are available with in, so through the year you are getting same for less but during diwali it is more for same and that's what makes the difference so if you buying this you get something more if you do beyond so and so buying then you get something spectacular i mean that's the way it is so there is incentivization for buying more incentivization for ensuring that you kind of buy up or trade up and that's what is uh, special about diwali uh it's also aspirational because during diwali people are buying occasion wear they are not buying day to day items so occasional items have got its own price points so when you get something more for the same price point you enjoy it so we should see across the sectors in some for example in jewelry there could be some offers on making charges like what nilesh gupta said in electronics there are something or the other that gets attached in garments there could be some accessorization that happens along with whatever you are buying as main garment uh, there could be some bespoke items that's getting created for you uh, in the in the food also you could be by having a meal you could end up getting a, a special sweet or a dessert at the end of it so i think everybody is going to try and ensure that you are you are really appealing to the heart of the customer or not necessarily the brain of the customer discount appeals to the brain of a customer now it's the time to appeal to right. the heart of the customer okay it's time to appeal to the heart of the customer uh, mr gulati there is huge demand in the pv industry so i don't know what will be the scale of the discounts but uh, any advice to customers on how to find some of the best deals uh this festive season in the automotive sector so parikshit yes i cannot be uh, similar uh, voice the opinion like nilesh ji and uh, mr kumar because uh, today in our case the problem is can we offer a vehicle to the customer or not so the discount so there are some products like entry level products where we are seeing some schemes but those are not uh, very uh, much 
which can entice a customer. But on the other end, I'll request if anybody wants to buy a product at least for coming six months in, a, in the passenger vehicle, they should pre-plan it. And uh, if they want it today, whatever is available at the counter at the dealership, they, they'll have to redo with their uh, choices and options and take that vehicle. Uh, because uh, still, what uh, the kind of bookings we are having even today is uh, indicating that the uh, the uh, waiting period will come down, but it will, at least for six months to an year, it will not be across the counters. But yes, there, there are schemes and uh, good uh, finance schemes coming in and two-wheelers uh, products of any size. So forget about the premium thing, but entry level and a middle level, we have uh, really good schemes on the cash schemes on two-wheeler and finance and even exchange. So uh, uh, one particular brand in a uh, scooter is giving up to around 10,000 plus uh, scheme if you buy all three put together and all that. So there are around 4,000, but everything put together. So there is some cash scheme, some exchange scheme, and some finance scheme. But across the range, uh, uh, it's not like, right. so normally what we say in the festive is not only auspicious location. The festive is the sales is made because of these schemes. But what we are going through today, the schemes are mm. not as good to make that festive, but still auspicious days are there. So mm. whatever your interest is, please go to the showroom and see what is available. Please buy it because I don't see any improvement in waiting period uh, going further also. All right. So the big advice is plan your purchase because it could take a few months, few months, actually six to eight months uh, in some cases. But uh, coming back to uh, Nilesh Gupta, we have uh, just about two minutes left and I'll put quick questions to all our guests. Nilesh Gupta, do you expect this festive season to be better for you compared to last year or even uh, 2019, a pre-COVID uh, festive year, festive month? This year, 100%, uh, we expect uh, it to be much better than uh, 2019. In fact, this could be one of the best festive uh, year for the simple reason is after two years, we are having a normal festival without the fear of COVID. So touch wood, fingers crossed, we expect it to be the festival of the decade. Right. You expect it to be the festival of the decade. Uh, Kumar Rajagopalan, uh, from your point of view, how will this be compared to 2019? I reflect exactly the way Nilesh Gupta feels. I think it's about spreading the cheer. It's the time when all of us can really meet and greet. Uh, I do hope that relationships get built and purchases will automatically happen. But it's about feeling that sense of positivity. I think living in India at this point of time uh, is, is the greatest thing that can happen because everywhere things are looking decent. Unless some strong headwinds come of some other nature from across the globe, I don't see a big problem at all. Festival season should be good for everyone and there should be this sense for going out, buying, enjoying themselves all through. Right. Uh, and finally, uh, Mr. Gulati, how do you expect this festive season to be for the automobile industry, automobile dealers? And one, one quick question, if I may add. EVs are really outperforming when it comes to the entire automotive sector in this first week of the festive season. Do you expect bumper sales in the EV segment? So, uh, Parikshit, I'll, I'll uh, dissect my answers uh, category-wise. So, cars, obviously, this would be the best ever festiv festival since ages. So, more than a decade also. So, we are seeing real good numbers. No doubt the option of uh, customer for counter. The other segment also are okay. So, but they'll be better than uh, last three years. So, even pre-COVID level. We are uh, hoping better for three-wheeler, the commercial vehicle, and the tractor segment also. Tractor segment is a bit uh, uh, in a challenge, but still it will. we are hopeful it will be positive. The two-wheeler segment is still a challenge. We are seeing an improvement in reduction in the degrowth. Uh, but yes, uh, I am doubtful it will be pre-COVID levels. But we are opti optimistic seeing the current trends of inquiry. Let's see that it comes out of woods or not. Electric vehicle, especially I see the spotlight is really great. The cars production is improving. Even the two-wheeler market also the last month was good. The first week was good. So uh, 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 the overall, the chair for mm. the auto industry is there. I'm hopeful if ICE two-wheeler can pull three, then the overall industry would be the best ever and uh, festive uh, month for them, us.
but that is a challenge where we are uh, still keeping our right. fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, to Mr. Nilesh, Mr. Kumar Rajagopalan and Mr. Gulati for joining us here for our festive centimeter. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.